generally four types of fire patterns. Plume generated patterns, ventilation generated patterns, hot gas layer generated patterns, and patterns generated by full room involvement. Plume generated patterns are created by hot gases rising above a burning item. As gases rise in the plume, they are cooled by air entrainment and the upper boundaries spread outward. A physical barrier such as a ceiling will contribute to the lateral extension of the plume. The resulting pattern is in the shape of a cone with its apex directed down toward the source of heat. When undisturbed, the angle between the plume boundaries and the vertical is approximately 15 degrees. Well-vented fires produce temperatures high enough to burn holes through floors. Once a hole is made, air can flow through the hole and increase the burning rate. When a door is closed on a fire, pressure from the developing fire can force hot gases through spaces around the door, resulting in charring. Hot gas layer generated patterns are the result of radiation. As the environment in the room approaches flashover, radiation from the hot layer produces damage to the upper surfaces of contents and floor covering material. The damage may include blistering, charring, or melting. A line of demarcation may form on vertical surfaces representing the lower extent of the hot layer. There will be lines on horizontal surfaces around protected areas or where easily ignited items burn.